Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. And, yeah, you heard me right. Uh, good evening. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Two big things right now I need to get out of the way. Uh, one, this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a fairly intricate... It's a fairly intricate pseudocast. There's gonna be a fair amount of screenshots and vids and GIFs and whatnot. So, expect some mistakes. Because, uh, like, I have a ha My brain has a habit of farting. I tend to... You know, I tend to goop things up, so just to give you guys a heads up on that. And um, and number two, yes, it seems that I'm gonna have to do these casts differently now, cause um, it's been going on quite a bit last week that uh, right around midnight, um, my ISP Spectrum, they shut down my internet for planned maintenance for at least an hour. And it's it's gone on as and it's uh it's lasted as long as four hours, so because of that, I kind of have to rechange my schedule. So uh, now it's to where I have to get this taken care of immediately, or not immediately. I have to get the pseudo cast done before midnight now, or I should say I have to get it done before 11 p.m. That'll give me like an hour and all that to get it all uploaded and whatnot. So. So like so yeah like I like I said it's things have changed now so I now again I now have to get these um get uh, the pseudo casting done before before midnight when my uh, when my internet gets shut off so and I'll probably repeat this later on but we'll we'll see and the music and the music is gonna be Braxius. Yeah, the music's gonna be Braxius. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Evzak. It's, it's um, uh, I think it's Northern Scandinavian music, or Northern Scandinavian ac ac acoustic music. I sometimes have to stop myself from saying acoustic. I don't, I don't know why. But you know, I mean, it's the correct, the correct pronunciation is acoustic. I've got this nasty habit of wanting to say acoustic. So I oftentimes have to stop myself from doing that, but but anyway, this is um, this is acoustic Scandinavian music, so. Let's get back on. Oh 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 oh, and um, I forgot, and I'm also having me a can, of V8 Energy strawberry banana flavored. So this is a brand new flavor I'm trying. I was actually wanting pineapple orange, the kind I usually get, but they were out of it at the store, so I had to settle for this instead. So. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, Norm Macdonald. Yeah, he died. Uh, he died on a Wednesday. So, Oh yeah, that came kind of unexpected, and I think it was unexpected for a lot of other people too. So, but it seems the cancer got him. But um, as far as a personal opinion goes, I didn't really watch a whole lot of them, or like very little of them. I did, however, uh, years ago. I um. I have a, I got a DVD of Saturday Night Live's greatest commercial parodies. Okay, I need to stop right here real quick. That's the problem I'm having. It's too loud from my end. So I, I got two different volumes here. One that's coming directly into my headphones and another that's going directly, com that's coming out of the computer. So, but anyway, um, I've got a, one or two of a Saturday Night Live's commercials DVD. DVDs, and uh, he was uh, I think it was like Burt Reynolds. He was he did Jeopardy. No wait, this no wait that was uh, no I got a, a Will Ferrell DVD. That's what it was, and uh, he was uh, he was on what he was on Jeopardy. Oh God, he did a perfect Burt Reynolds, freaking mind blowing as hell. I'm like damn. So yeah. That, he was scary good in that one. Um, but otherwise, um, 
otherwise, um, like just like David Bowie and Tiny Tim, in a way, they they never went public with their diseases. I guess um, Norm had Norm was uh Norm had cancer for like ten years. Be before he died, he had it for like ten years, but didn't tell us all. And um, I'll probably want to clarify for Tiny Tim as well. He didn't have cancer, but um, he was. I I remember. He, I think there was a documentary on Tiny Tim many years ago. I want to say behind the music on VH1. But um, he was uh, in later years he was obese and he he was a diabetic. But um, he had he had a habit of getting all tuckered out and stuff like during performances, and people were telling him, "Hey, Ty hey Tim, you, you probably want to cut it down, man." He's he's like, "No, I I have to keep going doing this or something." But yeah, um. But like I said, he didn't have cancer, but he was a he was a fat diabetic, and he's, and I guess uh, one day he was just, I guess he was on stage singing uh, tip through to through the tulips like tip through through the tulips with me oh 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 my chest my chest oh god my chest oh 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 plop, and they had to like they had to like they had to literally drag him off the stage, and I guess he was pronounced dead shortly after. <laughs> But yeah, uh, but like I said, I mean, none of these guys, you know, they wanted to go out on their shield, so they didn't want to just retire and just, um, you know, go lay in their deathbed and run the clock out, you know. So they just kept, they just kept on going. So, um, but otherwise, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I did it. I didn't really watch a whole lot of them. I watched a little tiny bit of his stand-up um, a few days ago. I watched a little bit of a watched some of his um, some of his weekend updates, and uh, apparently, from what I understand of it, he did a he was just basically a uh, trash talking OJ like during the '90s, like during the OJ trial and all that. He was all over him like flies on shit on that one. So I guess um. The guy, whoever it was that ran Saturday Night Live at the time, fired him because of because of all the um, OJ wisecracks that he was making. So I'm guessing either either the leader the either either the leader of Saturday Night Live at the time, either he was black or his wife was black. At least I, that's what I'm speculating here. And so he kind of no, he's not. OJ's not guilty, man. That what a lie. He was never, you know, he was never guilty, you know, which tends to be a popular saying among black people you know or what was it if it doesn't fit you or if it doesn't fit you must acquit or you know stuff like that so yeah well yeah they ended up firing him um and um and i on one of my last week well on one of my city skyline streams last week i did do a norm mcdonald podcast um didn't didn't really catch much of it. I mean, I was, I was, I was busy playing. I was busy streaming and playing as well as listening to this. So, but yeah, I, um, I think um, Bob Sagat. I watched a uh, watched. I keep saying their podcast, and you know, I keep saying I'm watching them. No, I'm listening to them. I'm, I'm like listening to these, you know, podcasts. A guy named Bob Sagat. He kind of did. He did kind of did a did a memorial tribute of him as well. So, but, but yeah, um, but yeah, a lot of people seem to like him. He, he seemed to be cool as hell outside of, uh, outside of comedy. I guess, uh, he became famous for, uh, he roasted somebody, but, um, unwillingly, because, you know, he's, su he was such good friends with whoever it was that he was roasting. It just didn't, just didn't feel right, you know, roasting a friend. He'd be kind of like me. I'd be more comfortable roasting somebody I hated than somebody I liked. Because it, even if you try to roast somebody you liked, they're probably just going to be like friendly inside jokes. You know, just try to keep it inoffensive or, you know, it, it just, again, it, it, it wouldn't feel right roasting a friend. And again, even if you're up there roasting them, a lot of the jokes that you probably are... A lot of the jokes that you're saying 
have probably been heard have probably been heard before. You've done them before, or you know, the the, the cracks you're making about them. It's probably gonna be pretty common knowledge among among you know people in the com you know the comedy community and some of the audience people and whatnot. So anyway, I'm not a I'm not a not much of a roast watcher, but I would think um the best roast tend to be just downright scathing to the other person, like, like the kind that, you know, makes the victim go off and cry in a bathroom or something, you know, like just the downright offensive stuff. At least that's what my idea of a good roast would be, so. And there's... Oh, that was, I'm so glad I remember this. Um, throughout it, most, if not all of his life, I might've been wrong about this, but um, he was also straight edge too. Um, he didn't drink, he didn't smoke, he didn't do drugs. I don't know if he was like this for his entire career, but uh, I did see a, I did see an article about him no longer drinking or drinking or drinking or doing drugs because he just didn't need it anymore or something like that. I don't remember the exact article. But yeah, I'm totally glad I remembered that. But yeah, it, it which is it's pretty stark contrast to a lot of other comedians out there. It's like, yeah, a lot of them are... I think Bill Hicks was like this too. Um, for the longest time, he didn't smoke. But he felt that uh, in order... How can I explain it? I guess in order to take stand-up comedy to the next level, he felt he had to. He had to start smoking and doing drugs and stuff. But, uh, no. Um. But no, Norm. Um, I think, uh, but I, this, part of this article that I read, I think for some part of his career, he was a drinker. But after a while, he just quit. He just, it wasn't doing anything for him. So, yeah, he was straight edge. I think um, the only addiction that he had was gambling. But uh, this is something I did remember him saying on his podcast. He wasn't a degenerate gambler, just a compulsive one. Which, in my mind, means he was actually good at it. So, he didn't lose a whole lot of money doing it. Like most other degenerate gambles. Like, they, they never seemed to win. Oh, but otherwise, enough of him. And already, I fucked that up. Yup. Fucked it up. I fucked it up. Totally fucked it up. Just when I thought things were going good, and then the moment I... The moment I clicked the scene button. Nope, it wasn't. So, but anyway. It's been a pretty brutal week. Oh my god, it was like, um, just basically... Three ten-hour shifts, so... Thirty hours of constant moving on in various parts of the store. And all, and all that, just... Constant heavy lifting, just contorting and whatnot, and by the end of the week, man, I was, man, I was pretty much limping. Walked out of there Friday morning with some aching dogs, man, just both of my feet just... Like those damn, those Alaskan Malamutes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the YouTube channel, but it, it was like a YouTube channel. It was all, it was devoted to these two Alaskan Malamute dogs, and, and that was all they showed. <laughs> it got real fucking annoying. Well, that was my, that was my feet at the end of my Friday shift, and to a lesser extent, my shoulders too. So pretty well tore up but 
Got four days of rest coming though, so. And calling it calling in whenever I have a whenever I have a hurt back or whenever it feels like I got a bruise on one of my one or both of my feet. Can't call in for those reasons anymore. Um, they're pretty much watching me like a hawk. I said this in one of my other casts. Um, but yeah, I got got called to the office and told I'm uh, over my limit of call-ins. So, and basically, give me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you. Um, I basically told them because three, three of those days were actually due to COVID reasons. And, and basically, he... I think we both hemmed and hawed and said, okay, I'll take them off. So, you're right at the limit now, Joe. So, one more call in and you're out. So, now, I bas I'm basically forced to forced to come into work. Only calling in for the absolute worst of reasons. So. And I fucked up again how about that man I'll just be a tardy retarded as anyway um behind the scenes stuff kind of experimenting a little bit with my OBS program and uh as you can see there the image option was a freaking godsend so glad I discovered that. Uh, so basically, the way that works is pick an image scene. Oh, no, no, source, source, source. Also, first thing, let me back up a bit. Um, on the left side there is uh, scenes. They, they're basically categories is what they are. If you look at the column to the right, sources, I kind of have it covered up. But those are subcategories. I started making use of those. Because that's going to free up a lot of space in the source column. Uh, but anyway, with the uh, image option. Uh, what that did for me is... Uh, I could just... Um, it'll give me a... It'll give me a browse option. It'll give me a... Hang on. I'm trying to find the right words here. I just gotta go to, I just gotta pick the image file and choose it and it posts right up. No black border or anything. And I can go full screen or as big, and, big or small as I want. So yeah, that is a freaking godsend because another good, another thing, I don't have to actually have the window active in order for OBS to capture it. Because up until now, I had to go with the window, you know, I was going with the window capture option, which led me to have a, led me with have, have to have a whole shit ton of windows out, you know, like that, and uh, I had to sit here and add each and every single one of those, or the, the, the full screen ones, I had to like, you know, I had to open a, open an image on my, with my paint program, I had to hit F11 to, for the full screen version. And then I, had, I would have to add each and every single one of those full screens to um, to my OBS source, as an uh, or as an OBS source. So yeah, that that made things very unwieldy. So so yeah, very much a godsend right here. This image option. Um, also, if you look up a little higher. Uh, browser I did try experimenting with that a little bit it does work until it doesn't so it's very hit or miss with browser um, the big issue with that and I can't find the setting for it but uh, it goes for uh, it grabs uh, websites from uh, Google Chrome and not Mozilla Firefox the one that I use and I don't know how to change that I can't find it so Oh, and if you look down a little bit underneath scene where it says text GDI, I discovered that one too. That's another godsend. Um, and I suppose, oh, wrong one. But um, 
This part here? Uh, your call? Uh, for the longest time, I used to only be able to do it. Do those kind of, uh, add those extra captions. Only, I thought I was only able to do that on my, uh, Windows Movie Maker. Those of you that have seen some of my other videos that have, uh, those extra, extra white text cap, uh, captions here and there, that's where they were coming from. Straight from Windows Media Player, or Windows, uh, Movie Maker. Um, but again, I, I experimented with, uh, the text option, the text source, I mean, and it works on there as well. So, it works just as well. So, now I have one less reason to go on, uh, Windows Movie Maker. So, now the only reason that I'd probably use Windows Movie Maker would be if I'm, if I'm looking for a specific, if I'm wanting specific video clips, and just, you know, you know, capture that particular video with, uh, with this OBS program and then just, you know, save it and then just cut and trim it. That's what I'd use Windows Media or Windows Movie Maker for. Cut and trimming those little tiny, tiny clips. I also have to do the same thing if I want to make a, if I want to make a homemade GIF. I have to use Windows, uh, Movie Maker for that as well. So, but now for the, uh, for the text captions... Oh, and um, let me back up a bit. Here, there. Let me stop that. But uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. The text you see at the bottom. That was something. That was something else too. That. But yeah, it's stuff like that comes in handy. And in case anyone's curious, what you're seeing at the bottom. People, uh, content creators will often do that. If it's a uh, kind of if the kind of thing that if you're if you're typing an essay, an essay for example, and you wanted to put something in parentheses, like kind of a an off-topic yet not off-topic matter, related or, or yet unrelated note, they would um they would put this kind of they would insert this kind of text in various images and whatnot. That's what this was. So, but again, this is, this is the, uh, that there is the, uh, the, again, the text, uh, GDI option, or I can't see, it's a little bit blurry, but, but you kind of get the idea. So I can use something like that. Like if it's something that I don't want to have to actually say, then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just throw that text caption in there instead. So, but yeah, I just... A whole world of discovery um, during my work week. And that was something else I forgot to mention, too. Um, a good chunk of this uh, pseudocast video was cobbled together during my work week. Just uh, try, you know, usually after I stream, I work on my blog post. Um, and then uh, try to take a nap afterwards and then wake back up and then start getting ready for work. But this time around, I was too kind of mad obsessed with trying to trying to put together this cast especially the uh the norm mcdonald part because like i said and i also said this at the beginning of this of this video too there this is a pretty intricate intricate video so yeah there's going to be a lot there is you know expect some mistakes on this one ah yes and and with this mistake as well I totally got caught here. Um, I also for forgot to mention. I also mentioned this at the start of this cast, but it, this is seemingly almost a daily occurrence on my nights off now. Uh, around midnight, my ISP Spectrum they uh, shut down my internet for planned maintenance. So, what I've been forced to do is uh, I've been forced to to download, start downloading YouTube videos, usually stuff that um. Uh, that I watch on a daily basis. I had to start uh, downloading the videos into a into a into a folder, into a video folder, and then um, once I've got all of them downloaded, just, then just keep them on tap. So when my internet does get shut down, I'll just go ahead and start to get into my reserve supply. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing this for 
probably a few weeks now. Just if it's a video that I like, but if it's something that I would rather watch later than now, I'll go ahead and just uh, download it. And then, then, and then, and then again, you know, when I have no internet, then just watch it later. So. But, but otherwise, otherwise, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good there. And, um, but, uh, but, um, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, and sorry for all the mess ups, but like I said, uh, or in case I didn't say this at the start of my video, um, I've only recently started incorporating, you know, various images and GIFs and clips and whatnot. So I'm still very new to this. So, yeah, expect mistakes. So, but otherwise, I have to get going on this video now. The post-production stuff, got to get it uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff. So, um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for dropping by, everyone, and see you all next time. Bye for now.